Hey guys, Frank here. Follow me on my Instagram, Frank by Bike, over the next month as I ride my bike around Switzerland, including some amazing destinations such as the Matterhorn, Lucerne, the Susten Pass, Mont Blanc, and more. Also, I will be going to London and Paris. It's gonna be awesome! Two weeks before my European cycle tour, I had the lucky opportunity for a work trip to China and Thailand. I want to share with you my experience on my first ever business trip and it all started at the airport. My first time in an airport lounge. Alright, it's been fun. Let's get on that plane, eh? Because this is a business trip, it was important for me to rest as much as I can on the flight to make sure I am not too tired for work. But I've never been good at sleeping on planes. Got a sandwich. A bit lost right now, eh? I'm not sure which gate I'm meant to go to. Hong Kong International Airport was very big and busy. We had a three hour transfer there to Qingdao, China. And I got some sleep. Alright, so we're about to land in Qingdao, maybe in like half an hour. I'm feeling so tired, man. It's like 12 o'clock in the afternoon. Well, maybe 1 o'clock in the afternoon, but it does not feel like that at all. I mean, yeah. I'm a bit worried how I'm gonna feel tomorrow. Hopefully, I can work as hard as I can, eh? Well, back to. We were in Qingdao to visit a supplier's factory. Immediately out of the airport, we could feel the 30 degree heat and the high humidity. We were treated very well and fortunately, most places had air conditioning. It was my first time to Qingdao and it was a very impressive city. Before heading to the hotel, we went to the local beach and experienced firsthand how much busier it could be on a Chinese beach compared to New Zealand. People played on the beach the same as how they play everywhere. Look at that life look at that lifeguard place. I don't think he's gonna be able to watch all these people in the water, right? So I'm just in my hotel room now, not much of a view, I guess it's alright, I can, no, it's not much of a view. The room itself, not too special, just like a normal room. See through bathroom, oh bro the bed is really hard, <laughs> no, definitely good enough though. Anyway I think the first thing I'm gonna do is take a shower of course. So the shower head holder is completely screwed, so I had to uh, engineer something right here. Now let's see if the Wi-Fi works, the most important thing. Later that night we had some Japanese food and afterwards I just basically fell asleep immediately. Alright, it's only 6 o'clock in Qingdao. But I couldn't sleep obviously because... 6 o'clock is like 10 o'clock in New Zealand, so... Getting up at 7.30 normally, I don't think I can get up at 10 that easily. Anyway, I've got like another one and a half hours before I need to go to breakfast. So I'm just gonna go for a quick run now, reckon, hey? There's a... There's a little bit of a park right there, so let's go check it out. Look at this weather, it's so bizarre. So foggy. It's so weird. I don't think the I don't think the air quality is very good right now. Is that like 40 minutes? Maybe like 30 minute run, pretty short, but man it's hot. Look I'm so sweaty. Anyway, back at the hotel. It's gonna cool down a little bit outside and before I go before I go inside. 
That was, that was awesome, man. Like, good way to experience China. After my morning run, I had some breakfast and then we had a solid day of work. Alright, Friday night. Not Friday night, what is it? Monday night, just had, off, just had my first day of uh, proper, proper working on this business trip. I think we worked for a good few hours in the morning and then four or five hours in the afternoon it's just pretty solid stuff but we still took a long time to have dinner and lunch as well that we went out to like a proper fancy restaurant you know with all the formalities tomorrow going to Thailand this is all pretty surreal I mean I've never traveled this frequently it's just hard to think about I'm in China for like one day and then now I'm all, the, all of a sudden to Thailand and then I'm back to New Zealand. Anyway, working pretty hard. I'm gonna work even harder after this. Let's go have let's go have some sleep. Oh, final day, final day in uh, Qingdao. I just woke up, obviously, and uh, checked outside. Look at it. So, so I'm not too sure if we're going to be able to fly. I mean, oh crap. See you next time. Oh, no. Thank you, Saika. Okay. Okay. Thank you for your, all your help. That's it. Arriving in Thailand, I quickly realized how multicultural this place is, especially being a major transportation hub. We had arrived two hours behind schedule due to some delays. It was good to see our driver waiting for us and another one and a half hours drive to the hotel. I think that's the biggest billboard, billboard I've ever seen. <laughs> This one's way fancier. Alright, look at that. It's pretty nice. I can choose between a big bed and a small bed. Oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah. That looks pretty normal. Coming here like 11 o'clock at night. Yeah. Alright, check it out. Fanciest restaurant ever. Yeah. <laughs> Got like a book. <laughs> Alright, I'm just sitting in bed, ready to go to bed. It's about, what, 12.30 at night. We did arrive pretty late on the plane and uh, shit man, and then we just went to, went to dinner at 12 o'clock it was an awesome ass dinner I'm really really enjoying it right now really looking forward to seeing the factory tomorrow and meeting meeting the people that I've been talking to I'm out yeah this is alright um, Just, just jump in. Once again, we had another productive day of work, and after work, the first thing I wanted to do was a dip in the pool. We then went out to dinner with our colleagues, and 
I saw some of the hidden streets in Pattaya, as well as seeing what it was most well known for. Oh, I can't bring that on the plane, so... Why not? Too big! Just roll it. Oh, Oh yeah, we also went to a really fancy hotel bar. It was overlooking the whole of the city and oh my gosh, it was one of the coolest places I've ever been. Oh, what a fancy place. Thailand is great. I'm so sad that I'm gonna have to leave tomorrow. I wish I had a few more days here, but I need to go to bed. It's like 10.30, I mean, it's like 12.30 a.m. Got to get up at 6. Got to work. Let's do it. Good for that. Yep, thanks for the opportunity. Well worth it. We will see you... Uh... <sighs> Squeezing this last minute business trip a week before leaving to Europe for a bike trip was a risky decision. However, it turned out to be an amazing experience. While getting all the work done, I had the chance to experience Thailand. And for me, it was a tiring, valuable and a little bit surreal experience. Hopefully I get to go on more trips like this. It's raining too hard outside, so we're gonna come back in. <laughs> All of a sudden, man.